Hey everybody, welcome back to Wicko's Carnivore. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about snacking on the carnivore diet. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there that are coming out with snacks that are keto friendly or carnivore friendly and so forth. Um, some of these are good. They're not bad at all. But many of these are not very good, especially the keto ones. The ones that say keto friendly, a lot of times they're not. You got to look at the ingredients and you, if you see more than a couple ingredients, then you know to just walk away. Um, but again, there are some that are good for you. Um, however, usually those are more expensive and some people can afford those and some people can't. Some people are doing carnivore on a budget and they really can't afford those, but they want to have a treat every once in a while, a nice snack, right? Or maybe they're going to be out hiking for the day or something. They want a good snack. So I'm going to go over a few options for a good snack on carnivore that you can make yourself so it's going to be much cheaper than trying to buy um, one of those products in the store. And you know what ingredients are in it as well. So before we go any further, go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, share it on social media. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every day at 10 a.m. And then other times during the day, I might have another video or two come out as well. All right, so the first uh, snack that I want to talk about is jerky, beef jerky. Um, all kinds of jerky at the store, and some of these are really loaded with sugars. Um, there are some that are better, they, that hardly have any, or like beef biltong, you can find it. Like Aldi, for instance, does not have any sugar in it, but they are a little more expensive. So make your own beef jerky, right? All you need is some chuck roast, which is not very expensive. And then you cut them into very thin slices and you can put them on a pellet grill or a smoker around 175 or 180, 180 degrees or so. And probably about three to four hours or so, and it'll turn out really good. Um, if you want to see a video for how, um, this is really fully done. Uh, Carnivore Kip has a great video for that. I'm going to link that in the description of this video so that you can check out his video. All right, another type of carnivore snack um, would be chicken skins, fried chicken skins, basically, right? Um, there are some companies out there that make these and um, they're very easy to make on your own. So some people don't really like to eat the chicken skin with the chicken, um, just because it's too soft and so forth. So you can make it crispy and, um, it becomes a nice treat. So what I usually do is I buy chicken thighs with the skin on and I cook them in the oven or wherever else I might cook them. I can cook them in the air fryer. I might cook them on my pellet grill, wherever. Then I take the chicken skins and I put those on a pan that I put in the oven and they will come out very good, nice and crispy. Also, I put some Redmond's um, salt on them as well for seasoning and they are a great treat. All right, so there is one more carnivore snack that I'd like to bring up. And this one, I'm going to actually churn the fences here because this one is not very expensive as all, at all to buy at a store. And um, this is fried pork skins. If you go to Aldi, for instance, and I'm sure that there's other places like Lido and so forth that have similar, but at Aldi, they have fried pork skins. And if you look at the ingredients, it's very clean. Um, there's like two ingredients in it, uh, salt, the actual pork uh, skin that was, you know, fried up. Um, and and it, it's not like you're thinking where it's fried in vegetable oil or anything like that. So this is one case where it's a great snack item and you can get it at the store fairly cheap. Um, I believe Aldi has them for 
under two dollars for a bag. I I think it's like a dollar seventy nine or something like that or something. So it's it is pretty cheap from there. Um, if you go to another store like a Walmart, Target, they're usually a little bit more expensive, and you might find ones that have more ingredients in them. So try and stay away from anything that has more than just a couple of ingredients. So let me know in the comments if you have any other good go-to foods for snacks on the carnivore diet, um, any homemade, or if you know of some really cheap options at stores and so forth, uh, put them in the comments so everybody can see them and then that'll help everybody out on their carnivore journey.